stuck up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf hoarder. Hi nerf hoarders, I'm Glyn and welcome to my review of the Star Wars nerf Django Fett action set. Included in the box are two blasters, 10 suction tip nerf darts and a holster belt. Interesting fact about this product, this is the first Star Wars blaster to have the Nerf logo on the box. Nerd! These blasters were released in 2002 and are based on the West Star 34 blaster pistol used by Django Fett, first seen in the movie Attack of the Clones. So how does the blaster work? Well this is a front loading spring blaster. So to fire, you put your dart into the end, pull back on the priming handle and fire. That's something quite interesting to note. When you pull back on the priming handle, there's an actual metal rod inside, which is quite unusual. And then when it springs back as well. When you fire, you can hear the spring. It's quite loud. So it's got quite a, quite a kick to it. Also, another thing to note is the trigger. So when you fire the trigger, this whole part is the trigger, not just this bit. So you can fire here or here. Let me show you that again. So, the trigger is here, or here. So that's quite interesting. So it accommodates people with bigger hands like me, so you can hold it like this. Or smaller children can hold it down like this. And that's quite a good design feature. Let's take these blasters outside and see what they can do. Are they worth the bounty that someone's put on them? Or should they end up in the Sarlacc pit? Let's find out. Just some quick advice. You can have a thousand Nerf blasters, but you only ever have two eyeballs. So always wear eye protection. So today, I'll be wearing this. It's worth noting that this blaster comes with the old style suction tip darts, but it also is compatible with the Nerf Elite darts. So are these good Star Wars blasters? Here's a quick comparison between the Nerf blasters and the blaster we saw in the movie. And we can see that the scale of the blaster looks pretty much spot on. It fits in my hand the same as it fits in Django Fett's. I'd say maybe the Nerf blasters are slightly undersized. Uh, color wise, uh, the chrome looks great. It hasn't got all the detailing on it, but this is, I'd say, about the right colour. For a toy blaster, it looks really, really close to what we saw in movies. So are these good blasters? I tested this blaster on my chronograph and achieved an average velocity of 46 feet per second. Comparing this to the Nerf Elite average of 70 feet per second, this blaster really does fall short. But it is from 2002. Back in 2002, they didn't really worry about the performance of a Star Wars blasters. It was more about the aesthetics, and that's why these look so good, they fire so bad. So my final thoughts. Are these good Star Wars blasters? Yeah, they're great. Uh, they look the part, and uh, they feel great in your hand. They're fun to shoot, so that's, uh, that's perfect. Uh, are they good Nerf blasters? Uh, no. <laughs> they're terrible Nerf blasters, so if you collect Nerf blasters, stay clear of these blasters. You will hate them. They are terrible. They fire so poorly. Uh, they're single shot blasters. Uh, th there's no real power to them, so avoid like the plague. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Until next time, may the foam fling in force be with you. Oh my! Master Nerf Order really does love his Star Wars Nerf Blasters. Anyway, please like and subscribe to the channel. Come along, R2. We're leaving.
My final thoughts on the blasters. Uh, they'll do their job well.